Hey Airsofters, welcome to another episode of Airsoft Mandalorian. We are playing at OSG Paintball in New Durham, New Hampshire today. I am using my AK-47 with the uh, fold under stock and as well as my Black Ops 1911 CO2 blowbacker pistol. Um, this is the same day as the experimental helmet and I found it much easier to have a stock that folded out underneath. That's why I'm using my traditional AK instead of my M4 because the M4 is having some jamming problems as well. So I'm using the AK for the rest of the day. Uh, right now we're kind of a kind of a unique gameplay. We are playing castle with the regular rules as in, you know, attackers and defenders, but except for one uh, kind of change or twist. Uh, instead of having like two different color teams like normal like blue and green, uh, they took everyone made them one team and then Justin picked out 14 players that he wanted, and then him and those 14 players, so 15 in all, uh, defend the castle against the rest of everyone. So it doesn't matter about the color, it's just defenders and attackers. So 15 defenders, and I forget how many people were that day, but it was probably against like maybe 30 to 40 other people. So uh, I've heard it go up against, I've heard it as hard as 10 against like I think 101 people. Uh, that was before my time playing here, but it got that big once. So right now, that's what it is right now. It gets a little bit confusing, and the next video, it's another full game. Uh, this one right here, it's about a quarter way through right now. I'm really sorry. I, I, it's one of those, oh crap, I forgot to turn the camera on time. I was like, ah, I'm, I'm not actually recording, so oops. Uh, but the, there's a game after this. Stay tuned for it. That It is a, another full round like this, and it gets a little bit confusing. It's like, wait a minute, they're blue, and I'm green. Shoot them. It's like, oh, no, wait a minute. They're, defend they're attackers like us. Oops, sorry about that. So right now, I'm just trying to make my way up to... Um, the uh, closer cover, but I just got hit, so I'm going to make my way to a secondary respawn over here, which is that 55 gallon drum, and then I'm going to give another try. So, hope you guys enjoy the game footage, and we get some nice shooting in, and let's get down to it. I'll tell you right now, uh, why I was so insistent on trying to get back to this specific cover. In the beginning of the game, the part where you missed because my camera wasn't on, I made my way up to this cover. I just ran straight for it, ducked down behind it because I'd never tried it before. And this cover is amazing. It's because it's the closest cover to the wall, and you've got a really, really good uh, view and range of anywhere on the front wall and a little bit on the side wall. Also, as well, on the front cross cuts and the lower <coughs> rooms of Castle, you can just shoot right through them, and you can also kind of have a view of almost a little bit inside the castle. So if you see someone start to cross the cross cut or get in front of it, you can nail them. Uh, this guy right here I'm talking to, this is Eric. Uh, he is another older player. Um, I was old as Wilson, but a really, really amazing player. He's just fearless. He just runs out there, gets shot, just keeps on going. Him and Justin are always going at it, just like him and I. But uh, really great guy. Uh, he's not tactical at all. He carries an, a gun. I think like two fat mags, 800 round fat mags, maybe three, a dump pouch, a mask, and work gloves. That's all he does is he can carry a sidearm, but he's still very good. So it's always fun playing with him. So we'll see what we can do about kicking out those guys on the wall. And yes, if you're wondering, both Wilson and Justin are on the other team, so darn. One quick thing, Dan is playing with me today. He's not in this video that I can remember, but he is in the next one, so if you guys stay tuned, he's in uh, another game right after this, same gameplay, same teams, uh, it's, an, it's a rematch, so he is in that one for, for a while, so stay tuned for that one if you want to begin. Yeah.
Nice one. Shot, Justin. Yes. Kick that ass. The gun that just fell off of me, uh, I mentioned in an earlier video from the Halo Village video, uh, that is my CYMA electric 1911 non-blowback. I highly do not suggest this gun, it really sucks, it only it doesn't even last you a year, then the motor dies. Uh, the thing is thicker than Desert Eagle, take care of 1911, multiply it by about 2 and that's what it is, it's really, 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 really bulky and it weighs a ton. Do not recommend this gun at all. But I was carrying it that day and I got some kills with it, so whatever. So now I just gotta get it back on my body. Just wanted to let you know that I here I was actually carrying two 1911s, my Black Ops blowback, and then it was this electric one. So that's where we are. So now I gotta put it back on at least one. I just got hit. I'm done. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try. Ow, oh, Jesus. Guys. Huh? Alright. Okay, time for a new strategy. The right side is not working at all. It is far too heavily guarded and well protected. So, on the suggestion of my teammates who've okay. been fighting on the left side, I'm gonna give this try a shot. Um, I'm going to try one of the three different doors, including the attacker's room only on the left side, see if I can possibly establish a foothold in one of them and maybe start causing them any some problems. So I'm going to do a little recon, take a look around, and then move up to some closer cover. Justin, honestly!
Game over, guys. Game over. Oh, Justin, you honestly didn't fall with this. Well, guys, that's the end of that match. Yes, we did lose. We timed out, unfortunately. I think it was only like a 30-minute match. Uh, this video was a little bit shorter than normal, but like I said, it's because, you know, I came in like a quarter way through, well, at least the video started, you know, a quarter way through because I forgot to turn it on, and I cut out a significant part of this video, a lot of different parts because it's really boring, but I hope you guys can make it to watch the next match. That one's really, really good. You get to see Dan a lot and a little bit of Justin and a lot more um, Eric. And you know, it just it's a really fun video. We get right into the castle and get some pretty scrappy fighting in there. A lot of shooting and medicking. So hope you guys can make it for that one. But until then, thanks for watching another episode of Airsoft Mandalorian. Please subscribe, like, and leave your comments below. And I uh, hope to see you guys at the next video. But until then, don't forget, get out there and play.